Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial guys, we are going to be tackling question 4.2 from the grade 12 mathematical literacy paper 1 that was written in June 2023. And question 4.2 guys falls under the umbrella of finance in particular taxation okay so on this video tutorial guys we're going to be talking about tax rebates we're going to be talking about tax thresholds we're going to be talking about how the annual tax payable is calculated okay and there's also a new aspect um to our taxation okay i haven't done a video tutorial where i've basically shown you guys how we go about calculating tax threshold okay so please make sure that you watch that um this video tutorial because i'm going to be showing you guys how we go about calculating tax threshold okay please make sure that you watch question 4.2.3 okay so also guys please ensure that you've watched all my previous video tutorials that i've done on the channel where i've done taxation it will help you a lot in understanding tax rebates tax thresholds okay because on those video tutorials i've explained those terms in detail okay so before we get started with today's video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on your notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a video tutorial guys and also please don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because it really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics mouse okay also guys if you want to support the channel there's an option of basically uh, becoming a member okay the perks of being a member is that you basically get to watch all these videos earlier than the day that i basically make them public all right so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial So like I mentioned in today's video tutorial, guys, we're going to be tackling question 4.2. And question 4.2 deals with taxation. All right. So let's get started. It says, Katleho, who is 24 years old, has two jobs, one at the PYEI and the other at a retail store. He earned a combined annual taxable income of 87329 for the 2021-2022 tax year, okay? It says table four shows the personal income tax rates, okay? Tax rebates and the tax thresholds for 2021-2022, okay? So we're told that this table here shows your income tax rates, your tax rebates, and your tax thresholds for 2021-2022, okay? So what are the tax rates? If you basically earn between zero to two hundred and sixteen thousand two hundred, you need to pay eighteen percent of each one rand. Okay. So in other words, right? Let's say for example you earn eighty seven thousand four hundred. Okay. How many run rands do we have in eighty seven thousand three hundred? I mean eighty seven thousand four hundred. Okay. How many run rands do we have in? 87,400 okay if you just take 87,000 um 87,400 and you divide it by one rand you'll find that you just have 87,400 one rands in 87,400 rands okay so i hope i didn't lose in one day so in this case whatever amount that falls into this tax bracket you just need to multiply by 18 percent to basically get how much would the annual taxable um, i mean how much would the annual tax payable be okay so simple as that okay so don't be uh, deterred by that one rand don't be confused by that one rand right okay and um okay when it comes to the second bracket third bracket fourth bracket guys please make sure that you've watched my other video tutorials because i go into the details and how you need to go about um basically determining um the annual tax payable if your annual income falls within those tax brackets okay so i'm not gonna discuss that okay 
then they talk about the tax rebate okay when we talk about a tax rebate guys we are talking about a relief okay almost as, as me saying a discount that you get okay from um sars okay um according to your age okay so let's say for example um we are given the example of Ukatla who is 24 years old, right? So because he is 24 years old, right, he qualifies to get the tax, your primary tax rebate, okay? So after we've basically calculated the rate of tax that he basically needs to pay, then we still need to continue and subtract the rebate. Only then will we have how much will Ukatla actually pay for his tax um towards sars okay i see a lot of people on my channel they ask me what happens if a person is 60 between the ages of 65 and older so let's say for example right that is actually 67 years old right so after we've calculated his um tax rate right what do we need to do in terms of calculating the discount or the relief right um that he'll get from SARS? so because he is 67 the tax rebate that he'll qualify for would be the primary rebate because everyone qualifies for the primary rebate and the secondary rebate okay so then to get the total tax payable we then obviously then subtract the amount that we would have gotten right from your um tax rates table okay and then we would subtract the primary rebate and we would subtract the secondary rebate okay so that is how we would go about then calculating um the total tax that will be payable in this case okay because they just have the rebates they haven't included medical credits and things like that okay and then when they talk about tax threshold what do they need so let's also use the, the example of Ukatlao, who is 24 years old right so in this case because Katlao is 24 years old we need to check if he qualifies we need to check if his annual income is above or below the tax threshold okay so if the tax or the annual salary right or the annual income sorry is above the tax threshold that means that he has to pay tax okay if the ta uh, the annual income is below the tax threshold that means that he does not have to pay tax okay so in this case when we look at Katlao's annual income his annual income is 87,329 okay so that basically means because this amount is more than 87,300 that means that Katlaho will have to pay tax okay so in this case we should be able to calculate what is the annual tax payable or the annual tax that he has to pay to SARS okay right so I hope that was made nice and easy all right so i hope i explained that nicely for you guys so let's get started with the questions it says use table four and the information above to answer the questions that follows question 4.2.9 it says calculate katlaho's annual tax payable okay for the 2021 to the 2022 um tax year okay so i already know that in this case when we want to basically calculate the annual tax that ukatlao is going to pay to sars right we're obviously going to be focusing on the tax rate and and we are also going to be focusing on the tax rebate okay so here so to basically calculate how much you will pay um towards sars right we basically need to get what is the annual tax payable okay before the rebate and we will after that then we are basically going to calculate what is the annual tax payable after your primary rebate okay so let's see what do we need to do here so i already explained here we already know that ukatlao basically gets paid 87,329 87,329 falls within the first tax bracket okay so to calculate the rate of tax 
we're just going to take that 87,329 and we're going to multiply it by 18% because we know that the rate of tax is 18% of the annual taxable income, okay? So it's going to be, we know that it's 18% of your taxable income, okay? I explained how the one rand basically comes into this question, right? So the 18% of what is his taxable income is going to be 87,329, okay? That is 18% is the same as saying 18 divided by 100 of, you multiply, and that is 87,000. 329 okay so if you punch it into your calculator you'll find that the annual tax payable um that Okatlao needs to pay before they basically include the rebate is actually equal to 15,719.22 rand okay however we are not done because we have the tax rebate that we need to now focus on okay because Gatlawa is 24 years old he qualifies to basically get your primary tax rebate okay because the primary tax rebate is for everyone that is um below 65 but also it's just for everyone for example if Gatlawa was 67 years old right he would qualify for both the secondary and the primary rebate, okay? So the primary rebate is for all natural persons, every person, okay? The secondary rebate then, if you then fall within that row, you would then get the secondary rebate as well as the primary rebate, okay? However, because Gatlawa is just below the age of 65, he only just gets the primary rebate of 15,714, okay? So we are going to subtract that 15,714 from the annual tax payable before rebates, okay? Meaning that in this case, what is the annual tax payable after rebate? Okay, actually, let's actually even be clear. After the primary rebate, okay, it will be equal to this 15,719.22 minus what was the primary rebate? What is the relief? What relief uh, is Isaac's going to give him? Set 15,714. Okay, so we're going to subtract that 15,714. Okay, therefore, the annual tax that Katlao is actually going to pay then after the primary rebate is just going to be 522 cents. Okay, that is the amount that Katlao is going to pay to SARS. Okay, nice and easy. Now, question 4.2.2, it says we need to define what the term tax rebate means okay so when we're talking about a tax rebate guys we are talking about a relief that individuals who pay tax get according to the age okay because here we can see this is a relief okay that Ukatlao got okay they've relieved him of 15,714 okay so he's it's a relief that you get okay um or in a relief that individuals who pay tax get according to his age so he basically qualifies for this relief because he is below the age of 65 okay all right so let's basically write that down okay so it's a tax rebate is a relief that individuals who pay tax get according to their age okay and let's have a look at the final question Question 4.2.3 says, show that the tax threshold for the age of 65 to 64 in the table is correct. Okay, so in this question, we basically want to show how did they get to this amount of 135,150. We want to basically verify whether this value is correct okay so we haven't done a question like this on the channel where i show you guys how is the tax threshold calculated okay because here you see that this is the tax threshold um um table 
right? How is the tax threshold calculated? Okay, so you're going to need to pay attention. Now. In order for us to basically get to how the tax threshold is calculated, right? I'm going to show you guys how the tax rebate is calculated, okay? The formula that is used to basically calculate the tax rebate. And then once we've basically obtained or once we basically understand the formula for calculating the tax rebate okay then it basically will become easy for us to determine um your tax threshold okay by using the same formula that we would have used to calculate your um tax rebate okay so to basically calculate your tax rebate okay they take to get your rebates, okay, to get your rebates, okay, they take the tax threshold, trust the process, to get the rebates, they basically take your, your tax threshold and they multiply it by the lowest level tax bracket, As well, right? That is basically how rebates are calculated. Né? So let's actually put this to the test. I'm saying when they calculate the rebate, they take the tax threshold, they multiply it by the lowest level tax bracket, okay? That is how they basically calculate the rebates, okay? Let's check, and please trust the process, guys, okay? It'll all make sense once I'm done, okay? So let's actually calculate the primary rebate. How do they calculate the primary uh, rebate, okay? So we already know that we are going to take the tax threshold, for the primary rebate and you're gonna multiply by the lowest level tax bracket rate okay let me say rate okay so let's see here what is the lowest bracket tax what is the lowest level tax bracket okay so let's just erase here we're going to be focusing on the lowest level tax bracket rate so it's that 18 percent there that is what we're going to be focusing on okay right now we want to calculate the primary rebate so in other words we want to prove that this formula is correct right so we want to get a final answer that's going to be fifteen thousand seven hundred and fourteen. okay so we're going to take your tax threshold for your primary rebate of eighty seven thousand three hundred. okay so if we're dealing with your primary rebate we're going to be focusing on the tax threshold for people that are under the age of 65 okay so what was that tax threshold okay so it's going to be 87,300 and you multiply it by what is the lowest level tax bracket rate okay it's 18 percent so it's the same as saying 18 divided by 100 okay so this value should give us your primary rebate okay if you punch that into your calculator guys you will see that you're actually going to get what 15,000 714 rand okay so we've basically proven that this formula is actually correct okay so we've basically got that now okay fine let's continue how do how would they calculate the secondary rebate okay so let's calculate the secondary okay how do you calculate your secondary rebate okay so we're gonna focus on the amount for secondary okay so for secondary how much is it it so for the for the tax threshold we're going to look at the value that is between the ages of 65 to 74 which is and one which is 135,150 okay so the tax threshold for the secondary right is going to be okay so the tax threshold for the secondary we're going to be focusing on the row where it has your tax threshold for persons that are between the ages of 65 to 74. So it's going to be 135,150 multiplied by the lowest level tax bracket, which is 18 divided by 100. Okay. And that actually gives us 24,000. Okay. 327. Right. However, this is not the value for your secondary rebate do you see that for a secondary rebate we basically have eight thousand one hundred eight thousand six hundred and thirteen okay so how did they basically get to that amount remember right 
when we basically dealing with your tax rebates your secondary rebates basically includes your primary rebates and your secondary rebates okay so that means that then to just get what the amount is for the secondary rebate we need to subtract the primary rebate that we have basically obtained okay so this twenty four thousand therefore okay your secondary rebate is going to be equal to okay will be equal to that twenty four thousand three hundred and twenty seven minus the primary rebate okay of fifteen thousand seven hundred and fourteen which is going to be equal to eight thousand six hundred and thirteen okay so that is how they basically they obtain your secondary rebate, which is the same value as that value we have here, okay? How do they go about calculating your tertiary rebate? Please trust the process. This question is very important because I haven't actually seen um, an explanation on how your rebates are calculated, okay? So let me just also do the tertiary rebates. How do they calculate your tertiary rebate, okay? So we're going to focus on the tax threshold that falls within the tertiary category. So for persons that are from 75 and older. So we're going to take the 151,100, 151,000, okay? We're going to multiply by the lowest tax bracket rate, 18%, okay? If you punch that into your calculator, you will get 27,100 and 98 okay however remember your tertiary rebate contains your secondary rebate and your primary rebate okay so therefore to get the actual amount of just the tax rebate for the tertiary you need to subtract that 8613 you need to subtract that 15714 Okay, so therefore that tertiary rebate is equal to 27,198. We need to subtract the 8,613. We need to subtract the 15,714 to get what is the actual value for your tertiary rebate. Okay, so if you subtract those values, you will get 2,871 right? Isn't this amazing, guys? Huh? Right? So we now know, okay, the whole purpose of this explanation was just showing you how they go about calculating the rebates. Okay, this is very important. This question might even come up somewhere. Okay, in further and future papers where they ask you to show how the primary rebate, how the secondary rebate, how the tertiary rebate was basically calculated. And now you've already done it with distance learning with Lee. Now you already know how you need to um, show these calculations. You see now you're passing, okay? Because we now know that the rebate is equal to the tax threshold multiplied by the lowest level tax bracket rate okay but then remember we're not trying to show the rebate the question was asking us to show how did they get to the value of 135,150 so we're trying to determine the tax threshold and not the tax rebate so what is this lady doing because the question is not asking us to determine the tax Re, uh, the rebate okay so the whole point was that to basically show you that okay this equation is actually correct now yeah? so now we can use this equation to help us determine the tax threshold so now we're going to manipulate this equation here to help us get to our tax threshold um, value or to help us get to just having the tax threshold as the subject of the formula okay what do i mean by this okay so this was just additional information guys okay this was just additional information just to help you guys understand how this equation basically works so i'm going to rewrite the equation now and we actually now going to answer this question okay so we already know that so we already know that the rebate is equal to the tax threshold 
multiply by the lowest level tax bracket rate, right? So what, we're going to just leave that as your tax threshold. Multiply, what is the lowest level tax bracket rate? It was 18 divided by 100 because it was 18%, okay? So we're going to use this formula, right? And we're going to manipulate this formula so that we make the tax threshold the subject of the formula. So we want to isolate this tax threshold. How do we isolate it, okay? So the tax threshold multiplied by 18 divided by 100 that is the same as just saying 18 times, okay, because the tax threshold, let me just also just say, this is the same as just say, us saying, I'll say tax threshold is T, I'll say that is a T, né? right? So I'm going to just replace it with a T. So tax threshold is like us saying T multiplied by 18 divided by 100. This will give us your rebate okay so now we want to isolate this t you want this t to be on its own on the right hand side so what do we need to do so that means that we need to get rid of the 100 on the right hand side we need to get rid of the 80 on the right hand side what do we need to do then in this case to get rid of the 100 you're gonna multiply by the 100, okay? When you multiply it by 100, right? Because here they were dividing by 100. So to get rid of this 100, you need to do the inverse operation of division, which is multiplication, okay? So we multiply it by 100. And then to get rid of this 18, because here they were multiplied by 18, that means that we need to divide by 18. We need to basically do the inverse operation of that they were the inverse of multiplication which is division okay so here what do you guys what are you noticing the hundred and the hundred cancelling the 18 and the 18 is cancelling and now right what will you have left on the left hand side you will just have the t t stands for the tax threshold okay so now we've already isolated the tax threshold however you're not done Whatever you do on the right hand side, guys, you need to also do on the left hand side. So on the left hand side, we still need to multiply by 100 and, and divide by 80. Okay, so then we're just going to rewrite that there as well. Okay, so we're going to just say then 100 divided by 18 multiplied by the rebate what do you now see do you see now we've got a new formula now new equation that we have for basically calculating the tax threshold okay that equation is basically telling us that the tax threshold right i'm gonna just rewrite this like this this equation is telling us that actually the tax threshold is equal to right Okay, the rebate multiplied by 100 divided by 80. Right, do you see how amazing this is? Us just knowing how the rebate is calculated, how does determine how your tax threshold is actually calculated, okay? So this is the equation that we're now going to use to help us determine the tax threshold, okay? So now they asked us, how is this tax threshold 135,150 obtained, okay? So that is what we're trying to prove. However, what is going to help us get to that, okay? We already know that, okay? This tax threshold, right, is for people that are under, people that are from the ages of 65 to 74, okay? So when we want to now substitute the rebates into our equation, we want to focus on what the secondary as well as the primary rebates because people that are between the ages of 65 years old to 74 years old qualify to get a tax rebate of your secondary and your primary okay so in this case right we want to determine what is the rebate okay therefore in this case 
the total rebate is going to be because we want to substitute now things into the equation eh? total rebate is going to be right we're going to take the 15,714 plus we're going to take 8,613 when you punch this into your calculator you will get 24,327 all right so now we've got the rebate that we're going to substitute into this equation therefore your tax threshold is equal to your total rebate of 24,327 multiplied by 100 divided by 18 and then from there if you punch this into your calculator you will get 135,100 and 15 okay right so this is amazing we have just proven how they got that value of 135,150 so this video tutorial guys it was jam-packed okay the take from this video tutorial is that i mean calculating the total annual tax payable in this case, it was nice and easy, okay? The only trick we had here was showing how they got to the tax threshold of 135,150, okay? So we started this tutorial by me explaining how is the rebates calculated, ne? okay? I showed you that the rebates is equal to the tax threshold multiplied by the lowest level tax bracket rate okay and the whole point or the whole purpose of me introducing this equation to you guys was to show you now how we can now go about manipulating this equation changing this equation right so that we have the tax threshold as the subject of the formula right so we manipulated this equation we played around with this equation okay and we were able to isolate the tax threshold right and remember guys i we actually got to the point where i showed you that therefore the tax threshold is equal to your primary your tax threshold is equal to the rebate multiplied by 100 divided by 80 and please note when it comes to the rebate amount it depends on the tax threshold they want you to basically prove, right? In this case, because they wanted us to prove that this the, the tax threshold for people that are between the ages of 65 to 74 was actually equal to 135,150, that means that now the values that we want to substitute for the rebate need to include what the primary rebate and the secondary rebate okay let's say for example they gave us a tax threshold value for people that are between the ages of 75 and older that means that for the rebate value we would actually then substitute your tax rebate for your primary rebate secondary rebate and tertiary rebate okay because if you are between if you are 75 years or older, then you qualify for the primary, secondary, and tertiary rebate. Okay, so I hope I didn't lose anyone here. These are the type of questions that now, this is where you get your distinctions. This is where um, distinction learners get total. Okay, these are the hard questions where you're now applying yourself, where we're incorporating mathematics as well, right? You are manipulating a formula to get to where you want to be. Okay, I hope that you understood this question guys please play this question 4.2.3 again twice if you can okay so that you really understand the point the purposes why i chose to structure the lesson the way that i did okay because i did everything on purpose just firstly to show you guys that this equation is actually correct that is how we can go about calculating our, our, our rebate. And then from there, I went on to show you how we can manipulate this formula. Play around with it to get to the tax threshold, then to get to our final answer. Please watch it with so much focus so that you don't ask, but I don't get this. Why did we add? Why did you plus? Because I explained why. Okay, please focus and try to apply yourself because this is one of those um, higher level type of questions for mathematical um, literacy. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video tutorial. I definitely did, right? I looked around YouTube 
and I tried to see if there was any explanations on how you calculate total rebates, how you determine tax thresholds. I didn't get one. Okay, so this is one of those um amazing tutorials that you should cherish okay um please make sure that you take down notes guys it will really help you just now a question pops up and then they want you to show how the rebate was calculated or how the tax threshold was calculated now you already know with distance learning with lee we've covered that aspect all right so we've done guys with this today's video tutorial in the next video tutorial we are going to be tackling question 4.3 and question 4.3 falls under the umbrella of data handling we are going to be analyzing these two pie charts okay so please make sure that you have your notification bells turned on right also guys there's also that thank you button okay if you really appreciated this video tutorial please just press that thank you and say thanks Tony. right thanks lee you you really helped me all right so i'll see you guys on the next video tutorial guys that is um, it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.